I'm still sick. <coughs> so, <coughs> give me a pass on this intro, please. What is going on, guys? So today we're back with another deep dive, and today we're actually gonna be taking a look into a very interesting ghost types that you guys wanted to see. Uh, Spirit Tomb. Oddly enough, uh, you guys voted pretty highly for this one, so let's get into Spiritomb, who is a ghost and dark type Pokemon, maxing out at 2072 CP. With a 0 on attack, 15 defense, 15 stamina. At level 27.5 though, you can hit that 1495. Now that is going to be quite a challenge to get. Unfortunately, you'll probably have to do some like extreme trading uh, to get to that point. Um, It'd probably just be easier to go with like a 10, 15, 15, or something close to that. Now when you actually put up Spirit Tomb up against the entire Timeless Cup, uh, in terms of bulk and stat product, we actually rank 61st. We actually rank 61 in terms of bulk out of all of the participants, and 56th in stat product, which is actually pretty good. And of course, all of that does kind of derive from our base stats with a 169 on attack, 199 in defense, and a 137 in stamina. We're actually looking pretty good so far. Now when it comes to our moves, Spirit Tomb just has a weird setup here. All dark in the fast move, all ghost in the charge move area. So I'm not a huge fan of it, but you know, we can kind of pick these apart and figure out which ones work better for us versus which ones don't. Straight away in terms of fast moves, we do have Faint Attack and Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch is kind of the one that makes a little bit more sense here because it does help us get to our charge moves a little faster. It does make a, it does make it okay to sacrifice a tiny bit of damage here. It's not like we're losing an immense amount of damage, but Faint Attack for three energy, we get three damage at a 3.6, whereas Sucker Punch makes the most sense at three and a half energy for two and a half damage at three damage after stab. Now in terms of the charge moves we do have Shadow Sneak, Ominous Wind, and Shadow Ball and honestly Shadow Sneak isn't horrible but it's really not a good move. 45 energy for 50 damage is pretty poor. A 1.11 on the damage per energy ratio. It does get stab which does help it. 60 damage for 1.33 after stab. That's fine and dandy but Ominous Wind actually just makes a lot more sense here plus it has that option of throwing the debuff towards the opponent. 40 energy for 50 damage makes it a 1.25. After stab, it's a 60 on the damage for a 1.5 on the damage per energy ratio. And then Shadow Ball here being our hardest hitting move makes a lot of sense as well. 55 on the energy for 100 damage at a 1.82 with 120 on the damage after stab, which makes it 2.18 on the efficiency. So let's just run with Sucker Punch, Ominous Wind, and Shadow Ball for the moveset for this video. If we actually take that and use it up against the entire cup in these shield scenarios, in the zero versus zero, we actually start with a 67.7%, which is actually really strong. The two versus zero is a 99.5, which is amazing. The zero versus two though, a whopping 1%. And then we do hit that 2v2, which is a 46.9%, which is pretty close to in line where I would expect it. Up against the entire meta though, we do start out in that zero versus zero with a 43.6%. One versus zero being an 89.7. Zero versus one actually does come up quite a bit to a 10.3%. And in the 1v1, we do have a 43.6. From those shielding scenarios, I can kind of gather that Spear Tomb is, it's gonna be okay in the even shield scenarios. It doesn't seem to really prefer, up against the meta at least, it really doesn't prefer to open or close. It's got pretty much an even playing field. Uh, up against like extreme scenarios where you may would wanna use two shields in a shielding scenario, it really does help if you have the shields to help cover. Uh, if the opponent uses two shields, only a 1% chance of winning up against some random Pokemon. Whereas in the meta, if you only used one shield, a 10% is a lot better. So Spirit Tomb actually can do a little bit of work here. So let's actually tear apart that 1v1, which was the 43.6, uh, keep that in mind. Uh, if we actually take a look at our wins here, we do actually have some interesting wins with Wormadam Plant starting us off, Dustox, Torkoal, Beedrill, Ninetales, Venomoth, Shellgun, Muck, Swampert, Kingdra, Haunter, Frostlass, Blossom, Whizcash, Celio, Flygon, and Sceptile. And then in terms of our losses, well, to get the ties out of the way, we do actually have four different ties this time around. Banette, 
cast form uh, in its rainy form and cast form in its sunny form and then Quagsire as well. All going to be some ties which I should have those in the top right hand corner there. Uh, cast form in its snowy form does start our just flat out losses. Then we do have Lantern, Lapras, Typhlosion, Blaziken, Charizard, Skuntank, Dragonair, Venusaur, Drapion with Infestation and Drapion with Ice Fang. Blastoise, Ludicolo, uh, Ivysaur, Meganium, Glalie, Gloom, and Victory Bell actually rounding off those losses. So we actually take and we look at all of these Pokemon that we lose. We can actually break these down into some pretty prominent categories. The first category that I really see a big problem with is the grass. So things like Ivysaur, Meganium, and Gloom uh, all give us a really big problem here. And I think one of the better ways to go about countering the grass types may not necessarily be an ice type. It could work, but also I think that because we do have a problem with some fire types as well, I think a poison type would actually make a lot of sense here. Something like Beedrill, Muck, or Venomoth, depending on how scared of the fire you are, I would definitely you know sway towards Muck and out of those three, but something that can carry a ton of poison damage would actually do a lot of good up against the grass type. Our next big issue is a lot of the water types here, so Lantern, Lapras, and even Blastoise give us some trouble. An easy way to uh, mitigate those would basically just be run grass. So Ivysaur, Meganium, Victory, Bell all could do a ton of work alongside a spare tomb up against those water types. And last but not least, like I said, we do have some problems with the fire types, so things like Typhlosion, Blaziken, and Charizard do give us some problems. And I think an interesting way to counter those would actually be to use the ground types. So like Quagsire, Whizcash, Swampert, depending on how worried you are about the grass types that do give us some trouble, you may want to go with just like some water types there, but I would think it would be really interesting to use something that utilizes ground just to kind of shake it up instead of using just straight water to go against the fire because we do have a problem with grass, it, it you know. It could work. So that is actually going to be it for Spare Team today, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks so much for watching. Always remember that if you want to help dictate what the next deep dive is going to be, uh, you can go down into the Discord and you can vote on that there. Uh, otherwise, that should be it for today. I do appreciate you guys hanging out, hanging out and watching. Uh, but until our next deep dive, which I, my voice is going out, so I don't think I'm going to record it right this second. But until then, I will go ahead and catch you then. And see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, always remember that if you like to like videos, you could do that. But if you don't, you could be that guy. Otherwise, uh, let me know what you have to say down in the comments below about the video. I do highly appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to support me in any way, there are several links down in the description for Patreon, uh, joining the community here on YouTube, or even just directly PayPal if that's your thing. I greatly appreciate everyone's name that's on screen as you guys have showed some sort of support outside of just viewing the videos. And I thank you guys, you, you don't understand from the bottom of my heart. So until our next video guys, I will catch you then.